Inorganic minerals are actually never living. They don't have carbon. They cannot bring life to cells. So the inorganic minerals will come up into the plant and the plant will convert those inorganic minerals to organic. So basically what happens, for example, let's take celery. Celery has high levels of copper one in it. You know, that's why the medical medium came out with drinking celery juice. Celery juice is really amazing because most people are deficient in copper too. You're either going to be deficient in copper or you're going to be way toxic in copper, depending if you have copper pipes and all the other stuff. So copper two is in the soil. When the plant, when the celery plant takes the copper two up, it converts it to copper one. Copper one is an active electron based negatively charged mineral. It's an organic mineral. And that's why organic minerals are derived from plants. They're derived from living foods. That's the process that they do. They transform these inorganic minerals into organic minerals. So fruits, anything raw, fruits, vegetables, salads, sprouts, raw nuts and seeds, sprouted raw nuts and seeds. These are all going to contain the living minerals. These are the ones that are going to be utilized almost instantaneously when you eat them because they have carbon and their electron spin is clockwise. And the human body loves that. It takes them right in. They can form ionic bonds with the body and they break down into materials and you're, you know, into even and subatomic ormus sometimes, especially if you're going out in the sun. That's what the water needs. That's what the cells need. They knew this because all the research back in the 40s was showing this. And then, uh, you know, big pharma and all of the, the agenda to create and destroy humanity started really pushing microwave foods, cooked foods, processed foods, all this other stuff. When you cook food and when you process food and when you preserve food and when you do all this other stuff, you reduce, if not completely eliminate the organic minerals and you convert those back over to inorganic minerals. So what has happened is since the 1960s, probably before that, and we have all these synthetic minerals as well, we have been severely accumulating inorganic minerals in our bodies. And as a matter of fact, even back in the 1800s, I used to have what was called petrified organ syndrome. That was because people were drinking creek water or they were drinking river water and their bodies would literally start turning to stone. And I've been telling people that there's really no such thing as mineral deficiencies. It's more about toxicities that are causing these. And the toxicities are because of the accumulation of the inorganic minerals in the body. Body. What's been happening in the kind of part of the general plan to keep us sick and to keep us debilitated has been to calcify our bodies. You remember the snakes, Medusa, looking at you, turning you to stone? Their plan is to turn us all to stone. And that's exactly what's happening. I could take probably, you know, a million people right now, considering the fact that 90% or more, 95 to 100% of the minerals that people are consuming every single day are inorganic. I mean, how many people do you know are eating 95 or 90% of their diet is fresh organic fruits and vegetables and salads and everything like that? The good news is you don't really need, a, you don't need to be 100% raw. You don't need to, or your, your clients or your patients that you're talking to, they don't, you don't need to say, okay, you need to stop eating all that stuff and go 100% raw vegan. Just 25% of your diet, if you're eating living fruits, which you should always eat the fruits first thing in the morning because they have fiber, they have water, they have oxygen, they have pure organic minerals. And what do you need in the morning? You need to flush all the stuff out of your system from the night before when your body was processing everything and dumping it into your digestive system. So the best thing that you can do is eat fresh fruits for, for breakfast in the morning. You know, don't mix, you know, your, your, your acid, your sub acid and your sweet fruits. Best thing to do is to just eat like three or four bananas one morning, three or four apples the next morning, you know, change up your fruits a little bit so you can get the, the colors of the fruits in your body too. Those are the porphyrins of the fruit, which are very important also for your, for your cells because your cells are biophotons of light and work on color. All the different color spectrums are in your cells. If you just understand as a practitioner or as a coach or 
or anybody for that matter, consider that you're putting a pound of inorganic minerals in your body every single day. And you might be putting like a little tiny, you know, 500 milligrams of organic minerals in your body every single day. All of that stuff is clogging up the system and it needs to be removed.